Here this topic is called solving a rational equation that simplifies to a quadratic equation problem type 1. So we want to solve for x and of course we've got some fractions. So what do we do whenever we have fractions in an equation? Well the easy way is of course to multiply everything by the least common denominator. What that does is it gets rid of fractions. Gets rid of fractions, yay! So these are some good notes you might want to write here. So first thing we need to do is figure out what that least common denominator is. We've got uh, a 1 here We've got an x plus 1, and we've got an x minus 2. Right? So the least common denominator is going to be x plus 1 times x minus 2. Right? So it's just one of each of those. And of course, the 1, that's pretty easy. So if we multiply that whole thing by this whole thing right here, this whole original problem, by this least common denominator, Watch what happens. We've got x plus 1 times x minus 2. And let's put that over 1 just so it matches in fractions. And then we're going to multiply that times the original. And I'm going to write it as a fraction. That's 4 over 1 minus 7 over x plus 1. And then equaling 1 over x minus 2. So if we distribute this out, then here in this first term, we're going to have 4 times x plus 1, x minus 2, no more fraction. Then if we distribute into the second term, the x plus 1 crosses out with this x plus 1, and we're just we just end up with a minus 7 times x minus 2, no fraction, yay. And then that's going to equal, here, this x minus 2 is going to cross cancel, and we're just going to have 1 times the x plus 1. So I'm just going to write that as x plus 1. Wow, now this is something that you've done quite a while ago. This is a much easier problem to solve than this crazy fraction. And we know how to go about that. We, can, we have to foil this, so that becomes x squared minus x minus 2 and then that 4 there and then here we have a negative 7x plus 14 equals x plus 1 so what we've got to do now is distribute this 4x squared minus 4x minus 8 then we have a minus 7x plus 14 equals x plus 1. Now we've got to gather everything up and set it equal to 0, because this is a quadratic, right? So we need to gather everything up, uh, multiply, or uh, set it equal to 0, factor, and then solve. So let's see here if I can copy all this. go from here. Alright, so we've got, we can combine these x's, so we've got a 4x squared and then a negative 11x, and then we can combine the negative 8 and the 14 to be a positive 6, and that equals x plus 1. If we subtract an x from both sides, get a 4x squared minus 12x plus 6 equals 1. We subtract a 1. get a 4x squared minus 12x plus 5 equals 0. 
Okay, now we have this quadratic set equal to 0, and we know to solve that we need to factor. This factors into a 2x minus 5 and an, a 2x minus 1. And then our two little mini problems. We get a 2x minus 5 equals 0. Add a 5. 2x equals 5, divide by 2. So one of the x's is 5 halves. And then the other, 2x minus 1 equals 0. We add a 1. So we get a 2x equals 1, divide by 2. So our other answer is 1 half.